Tonight, your story is literally on fire. Mm. Wildfires have destroyed hundreds of thousands of moorland. That's right. Felix Ocheno, a Master's of Science student at the University of Nairobi, wants to help. He wrote to us via email about a detection system he has invented and hopes that authorities can make use of it. Mm. Well, he demonstrated how it works to our reporter, Natalie Beck, and this is his story. A man on fire. A man on fire. Take a look. Wildfires are a threat to our water towers. Scientists relate uh, wildfires to extended periods of drought, global warming, and strong wind. <laughs> I'm Obiambu Felix Otieno. I'm a master's of science student at the University of Nairobi. My main motivation behind this project and system, there were some fires which happened in 2012 on Mount Kenya, which took almost nine days. And then the destruction which were reported was massive. One of the main solutions to wildfires is early detection because early detection will lead to early suppression. So when you have a system capable of early detection, then definitely will suppress the fire before it spreads to other regions. Felix, a specialist in remote sensing physics, while on an academic trip to Italy, came up with the idea for the wildfire detection system. He has been working on it tirelessly for the past three years, from morning to evening in the small earth observation lab in the University of Nairobi. Here is the program. The program, this part is fully automated. When I run it, it goes through, scans the images, and then uh, repeats the same procedure after every two minutes. If any fire is detected, then the program goes ahead to like send a notification via email of the same and then also makes a notification via a beep sound. Felix did not always dream of being a space scientist. During my childhood, I, I wanted to become an engineer. In primary school, I passed 12, then I was admitted to Miranda Secondary School. Because of school fees, I had to drop out in Form 2 to join a day school. Gagra Second School in Rarieda Sub County. Uh, in high school, I was good in sciences, physics, and mathematics, and uh, I used to perform better, especially in physics. And that's how I landed up yeah. liking physics and then generally what revolves around physics and science. The reason why I love physics is the wonder behind physics. In May 2018, the University of Nairobi launched the first ever Kenyan satellite into outer space through the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. He was part of the team that helped. This satellite was launched in Japan. He hopes that one day scientists in Kenya like him will not have to depend on other countries to get satellite images. His hope is that his project will be 100% Kenyan. For satellite technology, it's cheaper and the coverage is also wide. And then uh, it's able, there are some satellites which are capable of detecting the wildfires in real time. At the moment, the system is fully functional, but only runs in a demo mode. We were asked to blur out the code as Felix fears his invention could be mutated before he fully completes and patents it. Upon my graduation, I want to fully automate the system to a detection and monitoring system which can help my country to fully realize the dream of automating this system to a detection and monitoring system. I will fully need uh, like a powerful computer. Uh, the software is currently I'm using, most of the time they misbehave. And also I, I need to benchmark. In the future we can have a collaboration where if in case the system detects some fires, then we can inform maybe the Kenya Forest Service or maybe the Ministry of Environment about the same. And then if they are interested, then they can uh, 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 act on the same.
I have contacted some of these agencies involved uh, through email and on Twitter, but I'm yet to receive uh, their reply. And I think they are really missing on a great opportunity. Felix is certain that with the bright support, young resourceful scientists like him can solve the most pressing problems of our time.